This goes back to the entrance of Prospect Park. They both do. Huh. A thin metal stick that you took from the metal sculpture. When did I get that? Was there a reason? What do I do with the metal stick? Don't you think it's time we head home, Junebug? Five more minutes! Mm, fine. Five more minutes. I think it's been five more minutes and a lot of times. That's what I'm getting out of this. No, I'm not asking Madonna that. Pardon? Nothing. KK just wants to know if you ever met a troll. A troll? Of course not. You see, KK? No such thing. On the contrary, trolls only gather in Eastern Europe. They rarely make their way here. I see. This is when you start to wonder, maybe they're not that good at keeping the spiritual realm a secret if there's so many movies and books and role-playing scenarios and video games and so on that are all based on the stuff that they were supposed to be keeping a secret. Good evening to you. You know what happened by the park amphitheater? You mean the sculpture that was erected in the middle of the night? Magnificent, isn't it? Art that just appears for seemingly no reason. That kind of thing just doesn't happen anymore. It does this old heart good to see it. You got any more of those raspberry ones, Chipman? Sure, sure. Give me a few minutes. Best donuts in the city, this guy. Dude, you're just burning through them. How are you not fatter, honestly? <laughs> you're eating so many pastries. What? I mean, ah. What can I do for you? Startling. Also, your voice is like a little fried sounding. Like it was a little oddly recorded. Uh... Do you know what? Do you know about anyone who died at the park? Someone died. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Be around. Sure. Bye. Yeah, come to think of it, we should really ask the cop. Evening, folks. Did anyone die by the Prospect Park Amphitheater? Seriously, where have you been? Some idiot set himself on fire, built some weird metal altar to do it on too. The weird thing? He did it in the middle of the night. No witnesses. Some poor jogger found him the next morning. Right by the stage, too. An interesting place to do it. You're not the first to say that, actually. He's like some kind of local folk hero now. A folk hero? Yeah, the folks who live here, they think it's some kind of, I don't know, artistic statement or whatever. But you ask me, he was just a nut. Can you tell me anything else about the man who died in the park? Sorry, but why are you so interested? A friend of mine is missing. I'm worried it might be the same guy. Yeah, I'm sorry about your friend, but surely there's someone assigned to that case. My only advice would be to talk to them. How was it an artistic statement? I don't know. What else could it be? This friggin' neighborhood. Draws them in like flies and honey. Draws in... what? Artists. They've been coming out of the woodwork, causing all sorts of trouble. Forget the drug dealers. It's the artists you gotta worry about. Are artists really that bad? <laughs> you have no idea. Just last week, in this very spot, I had to drag some guy out in cuffs. There was this rider on his laptop. His battery ran out of juice, so he freaked. Smashed his laptop against the table, then started punching people. I wish I could say it was an isolated incident, but it's been happening all over the neighborhood. We found this piece of leather on the sculpture. And? We thought maybe it would help you with a case. First of all, it's not my case. And second, I'm not in the habit of accepting evidence from strangers. So, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, see you around. Stay dry out there. All right. Bestower, there is a contradiction about you that I am curious about. What is it? You are no warrior. And yet, you have the physique of one. Oh, um, 
Thanks, I think. Did my question offend you? No, I'm just trying to figure out how to answer. I guess sometimes when the urge to drink gets too much, the gym helps. I understand. Training clears the mind, puts you at peace with yourself. Don't know about peace, but something like that. Honestly said, I will speak no more of it. Surely we can talk to Calliope now. Because, like, all of her muse juice is driving everyone in the neighborhood insane. Is that correct? Not for five years, and with luck, one day more. I have never gone five weeks without imbibing at least once, and I am over 400 years old. Well, if it's not a problem for you, then it's not a problem for you. I am impressed, is all. It shows a strength of character not seen often. I'm not strong. I'm just a drunk. You just told me you were not. Doesn't matter if I don't drink. I'm still a drunk. And... Interesting distinction. Okay, Mondana, you're a little old to not be like Alcoholics Anonymous woke. Hey, just a sec. You think she would have figured it out at some point? What's up? Do you know anything about the sculpture in the park? I saw it. So full of anguish. I could feel the desperation pouring from every rivet and nail. Anguish. Yeah, Muse, remember? I can sense these things. I thought you lost your powers. So? If you lost the ability to fight, you'd still know how to fight, right? That is... true. Same with me. I know how art works. I know what feelings went into them. And that sculpture? None of those feelings were nice. Someone burned themselves alive by that sculpture. That's... horrible. What is this feeling? Am I sick or sad, depressed? This is new. I don't like feeling like this. Don't ask me about that again. So you can read works of art? Anything that was created by anybody else. It leaves an imprint. I can still see them. I think I'm the one who took your power away. You did? Hmm. You don't look like the guy I met. Oh, right. The veil. I can't see through those anymore. But if it was really you, then I suppose I have you to thank. Don't worry, we'll try to get your power back. For real? You did me a favor. 3,000 years and I never once enjoyed a thing. Not a song, not a poem, not a story, not even food. I could inspire them all, but they did nothing for me. I can't even remember the last time I smiled. I kind of like the feeling. I think I'm gonna do it a lot. So, keep my power. You took it, you keep it. I'm happy where I am. Oh no, this chapter's gonna conclude with me having the option of doing something worse or sacrificing her happiness to give her power back. You really don't want your power back. Nope, please stop asking that. So long. Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Food? Ooh, was this made by Clay Chipman? I've been meaning to go to his shop. May I? Mmm, mm, my god, this is so good. Uh. Excuse me, that was strange. This bagel wasn't made by Clay Chipman, not entirely. Are you positive? We watched him bake it. No, his hands made it, but the process, it was inspired by, by me. That's impossible. Weird. Weird. I had to get the really specific dialogue that explains that she can read art before I could give her the bagel. I already tried giving her the bagel in this room in the same way and it didn't work. Which is weird because like I didn't really need... I didn't really need the explanation to make that work. Like I could have given her the bagel and she could have given me that explanation of like, oh, wait, what? And I wouldn't really need, like, the additional explanation of how she can read art because that would be self-evident from the fact that she came to that conclusion from eating it. I sh the, the explanation was unnecessary, but it was required in order for me to continue. So, I was required 
Like, it wasn't enough to get the bagel, then bring it to her and talk to her. I had to see the statue first before I could give her the bagel for some reason, even though they're unrelated. The weird structure. How did you inspire Clay? I thought you lost your power. I did, and I've never met the guy. But that bagel tasted like my own power. I had it for over 3,000 years. It couldn't be anything else. So your power now belongs to Clay Chipman? No. Muses can't create, remember? He was inspired by someone with my power. Oh well, good luck to whoever it is. I don't want it anyway. So someone else has your power. Yup, sucks to be them. So long. Bye! Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Hmm... What if the dead guy has her power? He's the one... Can I use the pipe on this thing? I failed to... You know, I'm just trying things out. Uh, what if the dead guy has her power? And that's why he's so obsessed out in the afterlife? Maybe he's even piloting people? Somehow? Good evening to you. I heard lots of artists are moving into the area. Yes, I've seen it. The neighborhood used to house quite a vibrant community of artists. They're all gone now. They got priced out, or they got kicked out, or they died out. I thought I'd be the only one left. But now, look around. The real heart and soul of Brooklyn is coming back. And it is magnificent. What do you think the sculpture means? I don't know. To tell you the truth, I have not given it much thought. But the energy it brings, the vibrant life. This world can use more of that, let me tell you. A man set himself on fire on the park sculpture. I heard. Fascinating. Fascinating. A man died. Well, it is. Why there? Why in the middle of the night? The act of immolation is violent. Painful. One doesn't do that to themselves unless they want to make a statement. And yet, it was done in the middle of the night. Nobody could see or hear him. So yes, I'd call that fascinating. What was the man trying to say? We'll never know. Huh. That's a worthwhile statement. Like the Buddhist monks that set themselves on fire did so publicly in a protest. That was the whole point. You're doing a statement. We've witnessed three versions of art now that are doing the opposite of making a statement. They're doing something in futility. They're doing something that doesn't have an end result. Something that deletes itself or doesn't go anywhere. We have the guy that killed himself, burning himself to death publicly, but with no audience. We have the baker who is not interested in actually selling his goods, advertising his goods, and is making an inherently temporary thing because he's making food. Food for no one to eat. Then we have the, per the child drawing with chalk in the rain, where the rain's just going to destroy her art before anyone sees it. It's like taking a stick and drawing in the sand on the beach. Like, all of these people are creating temporary art, and none of them want an audience. The child specifically was unhappy when they found out that their mother photographed the art, saying, you don't get it, it's fine. What kind of statement does setting yourself on fire make? As I said, we'll never know. The man was inspired. We never know where it comes from or why it comes, it just is. And that's all we can say about any artistic act. It just is. See you around. Wonder if I should buy another bagel. What am I supposed to do with the stick? That will not. Hey, do you have trouble getting around? <laughs> So I says to him, you're blocking traffic. Go painting somewhere else. Needed three guys to pull him off the street. He finished painting in a cell. And you haven't heard a thing I said. What? You lost your cell? <sighs> no. Listen, you're getting the, all the food you want, and you seem to be psyched about that. So, you know, it's fine. What? I mean, 
What can I do for you? So what inspired you to make bagels like this? I don't know, it just came to me. You experience food with more than just taste, you know. It's important to be aware of that. Why is it important? It just is, okay? You don't have to get it, just enjoy it. So it wasn't a person who inspired you? Um, no. I mean, maybe, who knows? You can get inspired by lots of things subconsciously. Let me guess, the blue and red lox and chai cream cheese bagel was inspired by me. Sure, whatever. Reoccurring chive bagels coming up here. I don't think I've ever had chive bagels. Now I want to have chive bagels. Just because so I can know. Am I missing out on something? You sure you're okay? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm fine. Alright, we'll wait and see you later. Sure. Bye. Evening, folks. Stay dry out there. KK little... wants to know about unicorns. Are they real, too? They were. They were hunted to extinction centuries ago. Oh, that's a shame. No, it is not. <laughs> unicorns were violent, short-tempered, carnivorous monsters. They would gore anything without provocation. Be glad the world is rid of them. You just broke a little girl's heart. You mean horses that have giant spikes on them might be violent? What a crazy conclusion. Should I show her the... Should I show her the stick? It's from the sculpture. Maybe she'll recognize it as being her okay, power too. Is... And maybe we can talk to the guy about that? The okay. ghost? Bye! Stick. This is from the park sculpture. I'd recognize that sense of desperation anywhere. Please take it away. I don't like feeling that way. I can't give you this because clicking on him does this. And I can't drag it either. Huh. Anyway, bye! How about I take a picture of this to show your dad? No, it's not right yet. Just five more minutes. Okay, okay, for real this time. That was the mantra whenever we were playing video games. Mom, just five more minutes. Hey. Did anything happen by the park amphitheater? It was some kind of performance art, wasn't it? Someone put together an altar in the middle of the night and then lit themselves on fire. Someone lit themselves on fire? You seem rather calm about that. Well, it wasn't real, was it? I, I mean, it couldn't have been. They did it in the middle of the night where no one could see it. If you're gonna make a spectacle, you want people to see it. That's what everyone's saying anyway. Someone put it all together as some kind of statement. What kind of statement? You know, before June was born, I might have been able to tell you. But these days, I leave the art critique to the people with more time on their hands. Do you know anything about the guy who burned himself? Nobody did, right? It was all staged as some kind of statement. That's what everyone's saying anyway. See you around. See you around. So she thinks that the body itself is fake. That the whole thing was a pretend suicide. Explains why she's so willing to talk to about it in front of her kid. Bye. Don't think I have anything to do with you. You want a stick? Like sticks? Not a big fan of sticks. Hey, we know your secret, kind of, maybe, I'm not sure. Talk. Hey, can we talk a bit more? I, I guess. guess. So I heard a guy set himself on fire around here. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Burning. That's quite, That's a, quite a bold, bold statement, statement to make. make. Is it? It sears. sears. It, it cleanses. It cleanses. It if you burn, burn something, something, it's, it's gone, gone forever. forever. I, I can understand, understand the, appeal. the appeal. The appeal? You can understand the appeal? My journal. I burnt it. It needed, it needed to be cleansed. cleansed. It needed to it not exist. exist. So I burned it. It's gone. gone. This journal of yours, you said you burnt it? Yes, yes. Right, here, right here, right over, 
No, no, no. The journal is burnt. It no longer exists. I need for it not to exist. Please. Okay, okay. About that journal. I told you it's burnt. It no longer exists. I need for it. Okay. Do the initials AF mean anything to you? They don't. They were burnt. They're gone. So you're saying they are your initials? I'm saying they were burnt. You said you burnt your journal. This leather book cover is also burnt. Did this belong to you? Offering. It's in the hands of the angel now. The offering? The symbol of our love. I, I gave it to the angel. I thought it would work. It didn't. Burning it, burning everything. It was the only way. Hey, slow down. What happened exactly? Nothing. It's burnt. It's gone. Seared from existence. It, it has to be. He tried to give himself to the angel, burned art as a tribute, then himself. What's this stuff about hands of the angel? The offering, the symbol of our love given to the angel. She has it now, and I am still waiting for it to be gone. The memory, the, the everything. Come on, seriously, you can't tell me your name. It's not important. Stop asking me that. I know, KK, I know. I thought this time it might work. What did you mean about an offering? I, I need to forget her. I made an offering, a symbol of our love. It, it didn't work. What did you mean about... I, I, what angel are you talking about exactly? I created her. She is larger than life. Part of the city. Her gratitude is nothing. One more time, for luck. Know anything about that metal sculpture over there? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, forget it. Stick. I fail to see, but perhaps. Not sure I can do anything with the AF. Well, just about all we really have to go on is a shout out to angels, so. Uh-oh. What is it? I messed up. Need to start over. Oh, for f five more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> then we need to get home. Did I just hear someone loudly sneeze in the background in the game? What was that sound? Did I imagine that? So we have this bit of weirdness where Mandana can climb. Angel's hand reaches up the sky. On closer inspection, there is a small crack in the wall here. The hand of the angel, indeed. Ah. Get it open? My sword is much too wide to fit. Your sword is wider than the I stick? Does the stick work? This should prove useful. Hmm. It appears to be some sort of jewelry. In the form of a horse. MS and AF. AF again. Something about her past. Oh, so it's only in conversation piece. All I can do is look at it. Who is MS? Juninator, it's way past your bedtime. Five more minutes. Okay, five more minutes, and I mean it this time. I want to check what your name was because I don't remember your name. But you're the only female character here besides Calliope. Hey. Does this horse charm belong to you? Never seen it before. That is a falsehood. Your initials are inscribed on the charm. You calling me a liar? Yes. <laughs> Sweetie, Mama's gonna step over there for a minute. You stay here, okay? Shit, god damn it. Hey, are you alright? Do I look 
All right, take that stupid thing back to him. I don't want it. I don't want him. You misunderstand. He did not give this to us. It was hidden, enshrined, one might say. Enshrined? Of course it fucking was. Nobody does creepy like Amos Fennel. Does he worship it? Pray to it? No. If he did, he doesn't anymore. He's dead. He's... what? I am sorry. It is the truth. He is dead. Of course he is. It was him, wasn't it? The guy who burned himself in the park. I didn't think it was real, but I should have known. It's exactly like him. It's exactly like him to set himself on fire? No, to make a big idiotic statement and scare the hell out of me at the same time. I suppose he's gone now. That's good, I guess. Could you tell us what you know? Anything at all? Fine, I guess. It doesn't matter now, does it? Amos used to be a good guy. An artist, creative, really, really funny. June loved him, but then he moved in with us. And then he started getting obsessive. Obsessive, yeah. I got that impression from him. You met him? Kind of. Oh, then you know what I'm talking about. He started drawing pictures of us. It was sweet at first, but he wouldn't stop. Every scrap of paper, every surface, the walls, the floor, everything. I blamed that teacher of his. A teacher? Yeah, old Stan Bates around the block. Amos was fine before he started taking lessons with him. I mean, how crazy is it to draw obsessively and never stop for a break? Yeah, everyone turns to the child at once. Aren't yeah, you, you're acting all supportive, but aren't you like creeped out by the fact that she's doing the same behavior? How long has your kid been out here again? A few hours. Why? Oh, look, I don't like that tone. June is fine. She isn't like him. Now, if you'll excuse me. She didn't like that. She didn't like that at all. Hmm. Is the, was this Stan Bates? Was that his name? Good evening to you. What kind of, uh, does the name Amos Fennel mean anything to you? Amos Fennel? No, doesn't ring a bell. He is the man who set fire to himself in the park. I see. No, I have not heard of him. Amos Fennel was a student of yours. Student? I'm no teacher. Who, who told you this? A former lover of his. A woman named May Stein. Wait, that name sounds familiar. She has a young daughter, a budding little artist type? You are correct. Aha! Now I remember. Amos, huh? He gave me a different name when he came to see me. What can you tell us about Amos? What is there to tell? Like many young artists, he was struggling, trying to find inspiration. So he would come and speak to me. He spoke about his lover, who was quite smitten. I encouraged him to channel that love. We later spoke about his heartbreak after they separated. I encouraged him to channel that as well. I hope I did some good. Dude, he set himself on fire. He channeled his feelings into a work of art. How many can say the same? I call that a triumph. This neighborhood needs more of that. Okay, you're the bad guy then, huh? <laughs> you're the one doing all this? At first it was just like, oh. He's really passive about the fact that somebody killed themselves, but I guess like somebody... Like that, that's not that abnormal for somebody to react that way to an abstract concept. Somebody who did something from a distance, some, somebody you don't know. But now he confirms he knows the person and he like celebrates their suicide. 